Today, we're going to be covering how to automate invoicing in Airtable. This tutorial is geared towards those of you who may be operating service-based businesses that require generating invoices, maybe once a project or a task is completed for your clients. So this is what our final invoice will look like, and it will be automatically generated for us as we complete tasks for each of our clients. Let's get started by building our project tracker base. So you can start with Airtable's project tracker template, or you can start from scratch. We're going to start a little bit. So I'm going to click use template. So we've added the project tracker template to our base and we'll need to add a few fields to our tables and we're going to modify this base a little bit so that we can pull those values into our invoices. So first up, we're going to close this sidebar here and we're going to add a invoices table. So create an empty table and we'll create our invoices table. Great, so now that we have all of our tables, let's start by adding a few fields to our client table. So with the project tracker template, we are given uh, a bunch of clients um, and some default text here, logos, and some projects that are associated with each client. And to just kind of go through some of these other tables, we have our design projects, which are projects categorized by type of projects. So we have brand identity projects, industrial design projects, uh, healthcare design projects and technology design projects. And we just have a few, you know, that have been completed, some with project images, a client table is already linked to this table. So we can see which clients are associated with each project, as well as kickoff dates and due dates and any notes. And our tasks table is also linked to the design projects table as well. So just a few kind of sample clients and projects and tasks are already loaded up in the project tracker. And we can see here that if we go into tasks, we can see that there are tasks and subtasks, whether or not they've been completed, estimated time days, and which project they've been associated with. And then we can also see our clients and that default text that's in there and our invoices table is empty. So that's kind of where we're starting with from this template and we're going to modify it as we go. So let's head over into the client table and these are the fields that we are essentially going to be pulling info from into our invoices. We're going to be pulling some of the client fields, the client name and the projects associated with that client into our invoices. But we just need to set up a couple of other fields first. So we're going to create fields for, and actually I'm just going to change, instead of name, we'll change this to client so that it's a little bit more consistent for us and we'll be able to know that this is from the client table. So we're going to add a bill to field, which will be a long text field. And we're going to just duplicate this field and we're gonna add a bill from. And we're going to add one more, which is going to be uh, another long text field we could have duplicated as well, but this is going to be our payment information field. Oh, don't need to put field there. <laughs> so we have our bill to, our bill from, and our payment information. We're going to add now another field. This will just be single line text for our billing contact, which will be a person's name. And let's add a field for email, for billing email. And this will be an email field, so it's formatted correctly. And lastly, we're going to add a field for our billing terms, which is terms in number of days. So the number of days that people have, your clients have to complete payment on their invoices. So. We'll do billing terms and in brackets we'll put days. And so this is going to be a number field and it will be an integer, just a clean number, no decimals. And that will be, you know, 30 day terms or 60 day terms uh, or anything like that. So we'll be able to put those numbers in for each client as well. 
Great. So now that we have our client billing info added, all of the fields that we'll need for each of our client, in the next video, we're going to edit the design projects and the task tables so that we can dynamically pull in the total costs into our invoices.